All right, so here's the scoop. Google just confirmed they're sticking with the same pixel design for the foreseeable future. And honestly, I think that's actually a smart move. Yeah, it might not be brand new every year, but there are some really solid reasons why this makes sense. If you've been watching the smartphone world, you've probably noticed that most phones today are starting to look, well, a lot alike. The front is basically all screen now, so the real signature move is the back. And that's where Google nailed it with the Pixel 6, the camera bar. It's become a real identity marker. Without it, the latest Pixel phones could easily be mistaken for rebadged iPhones. The Pixel has finally found its sweet spot. They're not chasing ultra-thin phones or massive foldables. They're focusing on what works. Smaller bezels? Sure. A slightly bigger camera bump? Probably. But the Pixel isn't about being the thinnest or the boldest. It's about being recognizable, usable, and competitive. And with the Pixel 8 series onward, it finally hits the mark. That camera bar isn't just for show either. It's a statement. This phone is all about the camera. Even on the Pixel Fold devices where the bar isn't as prominent, Google kept the design language intact. Subtle, but still effective. Here's the kicker. Google is locking in this design for years. Think Pixel 11, maybe Pixel 12, and potentially all the way to 2027. Fewer surprises from leaks, fewer radical redesigns, and more time to refine what actually matters. Some might say, isn't this just copying Apple? And yeah, some Pixels have looked a bit iPhone-ish, but here's the twist. Now other brands are starting to look to Google for inspiration. Case in point, the iPhone 17 Pro's camera layout has shades of the Pixel camera bar. Google set a trend and others are following. Sticking with the same design also has practical perks. Phones become more repairable, more sustainable, and easier to maintain over the years. The Pixel 10, for example, uses 32% recycled materials and 100% recycled aluminum for the chassis. Combine that with improved water and dust resistance, and you've got a phone built to last, saving the planet a little and saving you from constantly upgrading. Of course, the Tensor chip remains a weak point. AI is cool and Gemini adds neat features, but raw performance still lags behind Qualcomm's top-tier chips. For gaming, video editing, or future-proofing your phone for seven years, Google needs a bit more power. But overall, they're playing the long game. Design consistency, repairability, and longevity over flashy yearly redesigns. Now, here's an interesting development. Back in December 2024, there were rumors that the Pixel 10 would switch to a MediaTek modem. That didn't happen. They stuck with the Samsung-made Exynos modem. But next year, the Pixel 11 might finally make the jump. And the rumor is pointing to a MediaTek M90 modem paired with the Google Tensor G6. If it actually happens, it could bring some serious connectivity improvements. The M90 supports up to 12 gigabits per second peak downlink, aligns with three GPP release 17 and 18, supports both sub-6 5G and millimeter wave, dual SIM active data, and even satellite connectivity. Sounds pretty solid, right? But as always, take it with a big grain of salt. We've seen this rumor before. So what do you think? Is Google making the right call by sticking with a familiar design and focusing on the areas that really matter? Performance, durability, and the camera? Or do you miss that yearly new look hype? Drop your thoughts in the comments. I want to hear them. Thanks for hanging out, and I'll see you in the next one. Until then, take care.